Hello again team, it's Jess or Jashikarin and welcome back for another video. Today we are looking at 12 monthly theme ideas for your next bullet journal. I've made sure not to give any double ups from past videos we've had in this format, so if you haven't seen those and want even more ideas, make sure to check the link to the playlist in the description box below. Down there I also list out all of the equipment I use on this spread, including the numbers of the Tombow jaw brush markers that I've used for the colour palettes. So for each theme, I'm putting down a suggested colour palette and some decoration ideas that you could use for such a theme. But of course, you can interpret these theme ideas in any way that you want. If you want to make it even more decorative or much more simplified, these can still make for fun monthly themes. The first theme that we have here is a desert theme. The decorative elements that you could include in a theme like this would be things like sand dunes, cacti, tumbleweeds, desert animals like scorpions, snakes, desert foxes, and the list goes on. Something nice about a desert theme is how different it can look depending on whether you're doing a kind of during the day desert or a desert at night, as the colour palette will change quite a bit. So while for this one I've gone with mostly yellow and brown tones, you could also use darker or more intense jewel colours for a desert at night scene. Our next idea though is a simple green botanical theme. For this one you could either opt for vibrant and rich greens, or go with a more muted colour palette like I'm using here. For this theme it may also be worthwhile including a contrast colour, just for a bit of visual interest. Decorative elements that you can include in a theme like this would be wreaths, garlands, terrariums, potted plants, or even just randomly scattered greenery. One of the nice things about a greenery theme is that because they're all organic shapes, they can be quite forgiving to doodle and draw. You only really have to get the loose shape right for people to know what it's supposed to be. The third theme idea we have is a neon signs theme. This one in particular is super fun on blackout paper and can be done with gel pens or acrylographs. Here though I decided to use a combination of Tombows and a white gel pen. So putting the Tombow down first and then writing over the top of this with the white gel pen, which kind of soaks up some of the colour. Having the bright colours with the blackout paper though makes it look like the drawn signs are kind of glowing, which is a super cool effect. You could always go for a more typical neon sign layout, the inspiration for which you could find with a quick google search, or you could combine this with another theme idea to make a neon sign version of other themes decorative elements. Up next we have a love potions theme, and this could be a fun theme to use with February for Valentine's Day, or even October with Halloween, or really just whenever you want. A colour palette that's probably typically associated with love potions would be pinks, but if you have a partner or spouse it might be fun to have a colour palette that's related to them or related to you and them together. Decorative elements for this one of course include things like bottles and glassware, but you could also have things like potion ingredients, or cauldrons for making potions, etc. One way that I like to add visual interest to a theme like this is to use different shapes and designs for the bottles. So not just sticking with the ones that look like a round bottom flask, or the ones that kind of look like a wine bottle. You can find really good inspiration for different bottle shapes just through a quick google search. Our next bullet journal theme idea is a feathers theme, which has a really flexible colour palette. You can keep it more muted with neutral tone feathers, or go for something a bit more vibrant with blues or reds, or even go for a peacock theme with a bunch of different colours. This one is another where you can make it more simplistic with a stylized version of feathers, or you can make them more realistic. In the decoration I've done for this one, I've gone for kind of a balance of the two, so a more realistic shape of the feather, but still a little more doodly looking in how it's drawn out. When it comes to filling in the feathers, you can get good inspiration online by looking up realistic bird feathers, or you can actually just fill them with other patterns or decorations, which can also look really cool. The sixth theme idea is a scrapbook theme, and this one is especially good for months that you still want to be decorative, but you don't want to do a lot of doodling. You could collect different papers which work together yourself, or you can get really nice themed paper packs from craft stores. For the paper I'm using in this one, this is actually a digital paper pack. So a pack of complimentary papers that I downloaded off the internet, I then sized them to make 6cm by 6cm squares and printed them off. 
As you can probably tell, I'm not really the best at scrapbooking, but I still think this would be a cute theme idea. Depending on how you wanted to style a scrapbooking theme, you could either cut the paper into different specific shapes and embellish with stickers, or you can go for more of a ripped paper aesthetic. As said though, this type of theme can be helpful for when you still want a more decorative setup, without needing to do a whole heap of drawing. Onto the other side of the spread, here we have a manga or comic books theme. This one you could colour in, or just have in grayscale. If you weren't super confident with drawing manga or comic book style characters, this is a theme that would work really well with the tracing trick that we talked about in my December setup video, especially if you can find black and white line art online. Personally, I really love Sailor Moon, and I super want to do that theme one day, but I know that if I drew the proportions wrong, I would be 5000% devastated. Tracing can help me avoid that, so I am certainly an advocate for tracing. Our next idea though is a birthday party theme. This one would be good either for your birthday month, or possibly the month of your kid's birthday, or any other birthday that you're going to be involved with celebrating. A birthday theme is another one that has a flexible colour palette, but it might be kind of fun to have this tie in with any theme that you have for the related celebration. Possible decorative elements for this one would be things like balloons, streamers, cake, bunting, that kind of stuff. I was actually going to do a proper birthday party theme in my bullet journal last year for my birthday month, but it unfortunately fell at a time that I wasn't really using my journal very consistently, so I didn't end up doing it. But I am quite tempted to use it for next year. The ninth bullet journal theme idea we have is a notice board theme. This one is a fun one to do with sticky notes, as them being only partially attached to the page kind of adds to the overall design. Having different ways to make the notes look like they're attached to the board is also a cool idea. So doodling on pins, tape, clips. I used something similar to this a few years ago as part of a back to school theme setup, and it can turn out really visually effective if you also use a corkboard pattern in the background, like we have here. Up next we have a spa day theme, which you could also merge into something like a self-care theme or a pampering theme. This one would be a good theme to use a lot of softer and subdued colours. While we draw this one up though, I also wanted to announce the winner of the giveaway journal, which we set up a few videos ago. That journal spans from January to June of next year, and if you hadn't already seen the setup, there's a link to the video in the description box below. But please join me in congratulating our winner, Jasmine. Just like the last giveaway journal, I'll be sharing plan with me videos of the monthly setups over the next six months. So to make sure that you don't miss those, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you weren't already. For our next theme though, we have an odd socks theme, and I think this theme would be super cute. The socks themselves are really easy to draw, and you can add whatever details or patterns to them that you want though typical ones would include things like solid colours, spots, and stripes. The twelfth theme idea is a silhouette skies theme. This is also another theme that has a very flexible colour palette, so while I've essentially gone for darker versions of red, yellow, green, and blue, you could always get really fun and creative with these ones, especially because the doodles themselves are really simple. The twelfth theme idea is a silhouette skies theme. This one was very much inspired by a gorgeous washi tape set that I've got coming from the washi tape shop, and although it isn't here yet, I already know it would make a really pretty theme. If you are ever planning on getting yourself something from the washi tape shop though, also remember that you can use my code JASHY10 for 10% off your order. Question of the day for you though, which of these themes would you be most likely to try? Or possibly, which of these themes have you already tried? I personally would really like to do a feathers theme, I think that that could be really pretty, but I also love the idea of an odd socks theme. Having another look at our themes though, we have a desert theme, the green botanicals theme, a neon signs theme, a love potions theme, the feather theme, a scrapbook theme, a manga or comics theme, our birthday party theme, the notice board theme, a spa day theme, the odd socks theme, and the silhouette skies. Hopefully you enjoyed these ideas and make sure to check out my other theme ideas videos for more inspiration. As always team, thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more on planning, productivity, and personal development. Until next time, bye!